All right, folks, uh, it's been several months and I've been uh, slowly building a parlor guitar out of various parts that I had. I ordered some more stuff to build it. Building a zero, zero, zero size parlor uh, guitar. Um, as you can see, I got the sides already put together. I had that put together several months ago. And um, I took a piece of birch plywood and I cut it with my um, jigsaw, and I've sanded it down really good. And that's going to be the top. That is the bottom of the guitar, and it's going to be ladder braced. It's going to have five braces. Um, the top's going to have five braces, including a uh, long bridge plate going across, somewhere to like an old Harmony or Silver Tone or old vintage parlor guitar of the time I'm using hide glue because that's what they would have used back then but i'm using a liquid form of hide glue um we got all the braces um all five of the braces for the bottom already glued up we're letting the hide glue dry um i got clamps on the outside and then you can use tape or ropes for clamps um also and that's what i'm using i'm using a uh, really strong scotch tape that i got you can use it for clamps um, you can also use ropes. Back in the old days, a lot of guitar factories, they build these by hand. They'd use ropes, um, but you can also use tapes. You can use rubber band. You use a lot of different things as clamps, but on the outside, I got clamps. And then the uh, rest of it, I got my really expensive tape uh, going down the uh, middle and using it as a clamp. Um, I kind of like Harmony, so I kind of want it to be like a Harmony, so I'm not going to clean the squeeze out. Because the real harmony would have all the squeeze out. As long as the joint's tight, that's all that really matters anyway. So when we're building, we, uh, we're working on the bottom. We got to let the hide glue dry. And then we got to focus on getting the top ready. We got to get a hole in the top of it and um, brace it up also. Um, there's our neck. Um, the neck has a truss rod, an unadjustable uh, truss rod in it. It's a uh, steel reinforced neck. Um, I put I have put epoxy in there, and I clamped that quite a while back. It's got two steel rods in it to give it a little bit of back bow, because what what non adjustable necks do in a guitar is they give the guitar back bow, put the neck in a back bow. It's all that they do, but um, it's better to have something in there than nothing. So I got these two steel rods. It's going to be a butt joint. It's got four dowels that are going to hold the neck in place and i'm going to it's going to be a two-person job because i'm going to have to have somebody hold this so i can align those right so i can get the holes in the uh the block right there so that's what we're up to we're trying really hard here to build a uh, acoustic guitar and uh we're going to take it one day at a time and see where we go well it's a project i've been working on for several months now that i got a, few, a little more supplies i can get going on it but there's the uh, acoustic guitar. We're going to let the glue dry. And we got to focus on getting the top ready next. Because we got to get a sound hole in there. I'm going to use a hole saw for that. And uh, we got to get it braced up. It's going to be ladder braced with a long bridge plate. And um, also, we have another project that we're done with. Just about a harmony. Uh, we had a K, but the K didn't go while I got mad and smashed it. But uh, the harmony went well. I did a neck reset on this harmony. It's a plywood guitar. Um, the fingerboard was coming off. I had to re-glue the fingerboard. And uh, the neck angle is a lot better than it was when I first got the guitar. Um, when I got it, only you could only play it in the first two frets. The rest of the way down, the neck, the action was high. I cleaned this guitar up a lot. I touched it up with some lacquer, a black lacquer touch-up marker. So um, it's a very heavy guitar. So there's the Harmony. Harmony went really well, but the K was a failure. Um, the only thing left I got to do is put machine heads on this and have strings put on it. And this one's set, and I polished it and cleaned the frets. All right, we'll keep you posted.